All right, thanks, Candy. Turning now to your 17 Health Watch, the Kern Public Health Department has named September as Preventative Care and Suicide Awareness Month. It's an issue that has impacted thousands here in Kern County, and data shows suicide rates are rising. 17 Cecilia Trevino joins us now with more. Cecilia? Tell me, the 2023 Grounded in Health Community Initiative focuses on making healthy choices and September is all about getting regular screenings. Another important issue is addressing the growing number of suicides. The 2023 Grounded in Health Initiative continues and September is Preventative Care Month. 71% of our adults are overweight or obese. We have some of the highest mortality rates here in Kern County for chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, cancer than anywhere else in the state. Bryn Kerrigan says medical checkups were generally neglected during the COVID pandemic and it's urgent for people to get back to routine doctor visits, dental checkups, cancer screenings, vaccines, and learning your family history. Another key element of preventative care is expressing how we feel on the inside too. Suicide rates are increasing. Um, they had a short, they had a small dip in 2020 and 2021. And since then, we've seen a progressive and consistent increase of suicide across all age groups and all demographics. In 2022, there were 113 suicides in Kern County. In 2023, there were 85 suicides in just the first six months of the year highlighting the need for a project called Find Your Anchor. 1,000 anchor boxes will be spread throughout Kern County starting September 7th. They include resources and information surrounding mental health. If you find one, you can take what you need or take the box completely. When somebody is thinking about taking their own life by suicide, one of the prevailing themes is they often feel like they're very alone. They do not feel connected and they do not feel like anybody um, really understands what they're going through. There's more resources beyond the 988 hotline, like a warm line, walking sessions, chat groups, and more. You can find all this through our website at kget.com. In studio, Cecilia Trevino, 17 News.